Hey, this is Lithian from the mpc-forums.com. Showing some of the main differences between the, the JJ OS, the aftermarket OS, and the Akai uh, OS. Uh, the after, JJ OS is an aftermarket OS that you can buy uh, on the internet from a, a programmer that programmed code for this to MPC 1000. So some of the main differences. Something the first thing you look at is you see the screen is uh, obviously different. Uh, you have this here next to the. Uh, you can set the sequence or the master tempo. Um, the master tempo meaning that you t typically when you went to a new sequence it would change back to 120 beats per minute. Well with the master tempo it will stay at 67 or 70 or whatever the hell you set it at. Uh, so that's one of the, one of the differences. Um, you have what this is called simult sequence. So if you have a sequence like this, you know, like, and you have a sequence like this, you can play them both at the same time. So you have this and Uh, that sounds pretty ridiculous because I didn't take any time to, to work with it, but that's uh, one of the f functions. You have this audio track business uh, where you can sample off of a, a keyboard or something and then sample the entire track. So if you want a free, if you have a, you know, a monophonic uh, uh, sequencer, like a, or excuse me, a monophonic keyboard and you want to sample and then use a new, you can do that uh, with this audio sample business. Uh, the MIDI, you know, tracks over here is still the same. It's just, you know. Uh, the MIDI uh, joint. Um, you know, I can control my, my external synths with that. Uh, so some people ask about the timing correction. Well, what's what's with this timing correction button? You can't look at it from the main screen. Uh, that's not really an inconvenience uh, in the sense that okay, let's say I want to. Um, I have the sequence here. Or no, better yet, I have the sequence here. And I have this track with just the hi hat, um, and I want to, and I'm recording. I want to change the hi hat. I can, I can actually change it in the song like this by holding down time and correction and scrolling. So if I want to change it to one sixteenth and a third, or I can change it to back to one sixteenth, you know, and then re-record. It's very fast, very efficient. So. Also, what's really handy about the JJOS is you have this swing business where you can set the swing to the Q-Link sliders. So I set the swing to the Q-Link slider. Now I control the swing by the Q-Link slider. So I can speed it up or slow it down. The, the swing of what I'm recording by moving the Q-Link slider. Uh, let me change the timing correction back again to 50%. Another um, major feature uh, is the trim function. So you go into mode trim, and uh, you'll see a variety of, of, of uh, differences. So <clears throat> the first uh, that I thought was most notable is, so if I have a sample here. So uh, I have the sample loaded up. First thing I noticed is scrolling through samples. Now on the old Akai OS, you used to have to hold down uh, shift and select where you were uh, on this so that you could scroll faster or slower. With the Akai OS, it has, uh, I guess, like a best I can describe it as a smart scrolling function, is that you can scroll as fast or as slow as you ask uh, the computer to scroll. So, as you can see, as as you can see, um, you can zoom, you know, from here to the middle in just a matter of seconds. So now let's say, okay, well, I, I don't know, am I, am I close here on the on this? Well, this is where the zoom in function comes in, F3. You zoom in, and you can actually zoom in or zoom out on the waveform. So you can zoom in with precision, and you can start it uh, right on the chop. So that's one of the uh, major functions. Now, notice you still have, you can hold after and use the Q-Link, and you still have Q-Link control of where you can land uh, on the start and end points on your... Uh, on your um, waveform. So that's new. Um, also new, which is probably one of the biggest things, is auto chop. You can auto chop, and uh, well, it won't with the sample because it's too big. It'll say sample too. Well, no, it didn't. So <clears throat> you set the uh, you set the uh, recovery and threshold time to what you want, and it will automatically chop the sample into pieces for you. Now you can turn, you can 
adjust the number of slices. You can hit edit. You can turn it into a slice samples or patched phrase. Look at this. Check this out. This is the tightest part. Convert to slice samples. Yes. Create a new program. Yes. Release 10. Do it. So now it's chopping that into samples. I go to my sequence. Now... Chopped across the pads, assigned to the pads automatically. I mean, that's ridiculous. Notable, most, one of the most more notable functions. Another one, excuse me, a couple more notable functions of the JJOS. Uh, we have in this, the sample edit, what you can do to the sample. You can discard pieces of it. You can extract pieces. You can delete sections. You can silent sections in the middle. Insert silence. You can normalize. Reverse. Here's the new ones. You can time stretch. Time stretch to tempo. You can pitch shift. You can convert from stereo to mono. Uh, you can convert uh, vocal cut. Bit convert. You can convert <coughs> the pad to a uh, different sample rate all the way from 4-bit up to 12-bit. Uh, what else can you do here? Ring modulator. It has a ring modulator. So I want to change it to a different... It modulates between a square and a sine wave. You can adjust the mix. Change the frequency. I mean, uh, it's just... Uh, it's pretty ridiculous what you can do. <clears throat> what else can you do? Uh, ring modulation, and that's about it. Okay, so... That's new. Uh, <clears throat> another new feature is the saving and loading functions. So, here I start. It says here, I have my memory card. Card free, 72 megabytes. Uh, sequence free. So I have my memory card and then these are the programs and I just scroll through them like this. I have these folders set up. I can click over to the folders, select my projects. Go from the memory card right to the right to the hard disk. Everything's saved on the hard disk. Now, saving, saving a sequence. <clears throat> Let's say I have a sequence. Saving. Uh, I want to save a new folder. Now, you see this, this little thing here? I created a new folder, and now I just scroll through and I select. No more pushing the pads for numbers and buttons, you just scroll right through to the numbers and buttons. Uh, so you can name it, so I want to name it, hello. Super fast, right? H, E, cap, lowercase l, l, o, hello. Easy. Just created a new folder. Okay. That's new. Um, oh, uh, I almost missed this. Um, the uh, new program mode. So let's say I want to change every <clears throat> voice in a sample from poly to mono. Before I had to go mode program, go to each sample, each, each sample, right? With all that mono, 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 mono. No more. Not with the group. Pro the new global program mode. You just go and you hit this whole button. Click mono, poly mono. You can change tune this way. Uh, the whole tune. You can change note. You can. Uh, apply filters to multiple samples um, in the new program mode. I mean, uh, that's unbelievable. Probably second most notable, grid edit. So I have a sequence and I have a track, track one. You see these little dots and numbers? Those uh, correspond to uh, pads that I'm hitting uh, on my drum beat. I have a drum beat, I have a drum beat here. Uh, and if you go to step edit, the old step edit, it would show you this way. Grid edit shows you in a grid view. So here we have my grid. So, I mean, <clears throat> these are just some of the small uh, features of uh, the new JJOS uh, for the MPC-1000.